Another way to never be broke again is to create a higher income, not a larger savings account. I love the premise of the millionaire next door, but I think that book and other books like that have people deluded. When you are looking to not be broke again, the best way is to create more income and also save. There's this singular pursuit of saving, scrimping, not living well, not buying coffee, doing all of this stuff so you can have a better future when you may kill over and die tomorrow. You have to live for the present and you have to plan for the future. Now, the best way to do that, and I'm going to give you a template, is to create more income. The first time that I learned how this really worked, we had a really good month where I was so busy that I was so working so hard, I didn't have a chance to spend the money. And at the end of the month, there was a lot of money in the bank. And I was like, oh. So I took 50% of it, paid my bills off, put some money in my pocket, paid off some credit cards. And while I was doing that, the next month I almost rolled by and I had money in there. So that created the 50% solution. Now, in the beginning, no, you're not going to be able to live on 50% of your income. You're not conditioned for it. You haven't observed that you haven't practiced it and, and no but see with that as a goal that makes saving 10 percent of your income easier that makes saving 20 percent of your income easier also it makes it easier when you can save 10 20 30 40 percent of your income and still have enough money to pay all of your bills and still have some money to blow it becomes very easy to save when you have a lot of money coming in I worked with a guy who something happened. He had some events in his life and he had like $300,000 in his account. And I was like, how the hell did you get $300,000? He said, well, I was, this, this deal came through, this deal came through. And then I sold this car. Essentially he had money coming in so fast that it was so easy to save. See, this is the thing. Most people are underpaid. Most people are. Most people are underpaid, they're underperformed because they're underpaid, and they have these lives of lack. I recently moved, and everything that I bought new, I earned the money through hustling it up, and I'll talk about that in another segment. But your goal should be to increase your income with a purpose. Not just to increase your income for the increasing, you know, get money, I gotta get money, ball it. No, that's stupid. You're going to increase your income for specific purposes. Now, here's the template because these illustrations make things easier for you. Let's say currently you make $50,000 a year. So after taxes, you're bringing home, what, $3,800 a month, maybe close to four, maybe, you know, maybe let's just say you bring home $4,000 a month. So that's $2,000 every two weeks, but you got $3,900 worth of expenses. So you got two choices. You could reduce your expenses or you could create additional income. Now, what about doing both? You're going to reduce your burn rate, as I like to say, because that makes it much easier to start businesses. But you have a job and you want to experience more income in your life. You cut all the corners you can. If you can move, you move. You can sell, you can sell. You reduce your burn rate. And with even greater vigor than reducing your burn rate, you push to double your income. You're making, what's like I said, 50,000. So your new target is 100 grand. But this is where hustling with a purpose comes in. You're not going to allow your new income to dictate your lifestyle. You're going to still live on that original 50. You're going to live on that. This new money is to develop an escape path for you to escape the rat race, for you to escape the sameness, for you to escape mediocrity, and for you to escape living like everyone else who lives paycheck to paycheck. This will give you lift. So now once again, you're making 50. The goal is 100. And you want to do it within two to three years. Yes, pressure, pressure, pressure. Because if you're like, well, you know, I want to double my income. You know, if it take me 20 years. That's, no, that's not good. 
not 20 years, two or three, which means you're going to have to become a creator or you're going to have to hustle or you're going to have to think of something. I can't really decide that for you at the moment. But once again, that's the template. Reduce your burn rate and with a greater vigor, push to make more money. Now, for many of you, this is going to be very challenging because the reason that you go out and hustle and earn is because you've got the wolf of the bill collector all up in your ass. Like, ah, ah, cable, ah, electricity, ah, gas, ah, car insurance, ah, car paper. You got all those bills biting you in your ass. And that's why you're like, yeah, mule. And you perform. And you get those bills paid because your motivation is those bills. Your motivation is not freedom. And that's why you're stuck where you are. When your motivation becomes freedom, fuck that new car. Fuck cable. Fuck that shit. I want to be free. I want to be able to own me. I want to be able to do what I want to do with my life when I want to do it. When you get that motivation, reducing the burn rate becomes easier much easier. So these are your marching orders. This is what you're going to do. You're going to do a budget. Yes, a budget, bubblegum budget, include everything. Cut, cut, cut. But while you're cutting, you're going to push as hard as you can. And you have to do both at the same time. It's like shifting a manual car. It's like you got to hit the clutch and you got to shift at the same time. Or if you're riding a motorcycle, you got to shift and clutch at the same time. There's a certain synchronization that must happen for this to work. Because if you just go ahead and just do the cut the burn rate and start scrimping and saving, you may develop a poverty mentality. One that doesn't appreciate abundance. So that's something for you to think about. But create your budget and sketch out 30 ways that you can create additional income. Then write on a sheet of paper in the next two to three years, I'm going to double my income. Get busy.